Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday morning to you. It's Pastor Austin here with another Faith Factor devotional for you guys. This is going to be the second to the last Faith Factor devotional we have this week, obviously today, and then next week. Next Tuesday will be the last Faith Factor devotional. We're going to start wrapping up our faith series in Kids Church as well. It's actually going to go all the way through December, but it's going to, we're going to start wrapping it up as we look forward to 2020 and a new year. But today, um, like I said, it's going to be the second to the last week. I was looking at my calendar over there to make sure I was counting right. Yeah, next week will be the last Faith Factor devotional. And then also next week, I have some other things. There's going to be some stuff all week long. Uh, Monday will be the kids' church recap from Sunday. Tuesday will be the last Faith Factor devotional. Wednesday, I'll have there'll be a video on Wednesday just because we don't have church on Wednesday. And then Thursday will be something on Thanksgiving, and Friday will be something. And yeah, Friday and probably Saturday. Saturday will probably be some promos for what's coming throughout the month of December, is, and and on YouTube. And, and Kids Church and in the Pioneers as we wrap up 2020. But today, as like I said, we only have a few more Faith Fact devotions. What I want to talk to you today is the Shield of Faith. Now, the Shield of Faith is part of the armor of God that Paul writes about in the book of Ephesians. Um, and he talks about the, the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, shoes of peace, belt of truth. And he says, pick up the Shield of Faith. I have some some characteristics of a shield of faith I'm going to read to you boys and girls. Uh, the first is that the shield is a line of defense. You know, it's a defense thing. It's, it's to protect yourselves. You hold it in defense so you can stop the enemy's blows against you. Like Captain America, if you guys have ever seen any of the Captain America movies or the Avengers, he, when people are shooting their guns at him or trying to punch him, he, he raises that shield up in, in defense. Uh, so just like that, shield guards you, it protects you. Uh, number three would be that it deflects. Um, if you have heard me talk about the armor of God before, boys and girls, you remember that we I fire Nerf guns at whoever has a shield. We talk about how the shield of faith deflects the lies and, and doubts of the devil tries to throw us. Because he will. He will try to get us to doubt God and doubt what the Bible says. So we have to hold on to our faith and use it to protect us to deflect those to extinguish those lies and doubts and hold fact to our faith that we know is true that we do know that god meets our needs that he will heal us that he will that he is real and that he is there for us all the kind of things that the devil may try and lie about as uh about the things that we've been talking about in kids church on sunday mornings uh, number four a shield can in that's a big word, but it can stop the enemy. It's a big word. It says in caspitate. I can't even say it, but it's a big word. And uh, again, a shield is used as a guard, but it can also be used as a weapon. Again, with Captain America, you know, he can either use that thing to guard himself, or he can throw it like a boomerang, and it takes out the enemy. So we use our faith. It deflects us, and it extinguishes those enemies' darts, but it also can take on the devil and his schemes. We can use our faith against the devil. And then finally, the fifth one is there is strength in a number of shields. Kind of like what we talked about last week with what faith needs friends. The more people who are very believing with you, the better. Because then you can have friends who believe with you and it's like you're taking up your shields and fighting the devil. So that's what I want to talk to you today. Um, let me exit out of this really quick. The shield of faith is important. The whole armor of God is important. We need to be wearing that daily and take up the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit, which is the Bible, and get ready to do a war because we have an enemy who wants to take us out. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. Just a reminder, we have our pioneers tomorrow night at 7. It will be the last pioneer meeting of November because uh, we have no church next Wednesday. And then we'll be back tomorrow so tomorrow night and we'll be back again on sunday morning for our thanksgiving our pre-thanksgiving service i guess you call it i'm calling i've called it a thanksgiving service but then some of you boys are going to say that's not thanksgiving yet well it's our pre-thanksgiving service I, I remember i have a treat for you guys on sunday if you're good and uh thanksgiving themed and then like i said we'll have i'll have things on facebook and youtube or one of the other all week long next week just because it's the week of Thanksgiving, and I want to do something special. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you have a great 
Tuesday. And uh, yeah, if you if you mention if you message Andrew, just make sure you tell Andrew happy birthday. It's his birthday today. All right. So I will see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.